What's going on, everybody? My name is Hao Vu, and this is the Hao Vu Moto Vlog. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm still on Pismo Beach right now. I thought I'd shoot a video. It's been a while since I've uploaded, and um, it's it's been a crazy first month of van lifing, of SUV van lifing full time out of the Honda Element. It's been fun. It's been very rewarding. It's been very different. The change of pace has been quite different and really being out on the road and not having a home base anymore, leaving Maryland, leaving my parents' house, not having my apartment in California. It's just, it kind of sets in that first couple of weeks like I don't have a true home anymore. And the life that I used to live for the past, you know, whatever, three decades essentially, it's like out the window now. I'm just traveling full time, wondering where I'm gonna sleep at the end of every night. And there's a level of comfort that's just not there anymore. There's a level of predictability that's just not there anymore. There's a level of routine that's not there yet. I'll say yet with routine because even if you're doing something as different or as drastic as you know, selling all your things, living the minimalist lifestyle, living out of your SUV, you can still develop and fall into a routine given enough time. And I think just humans in general, we tend to fall into some sort of a routine. I, I know some people just don't like the idea of, of the word even routine, but I'm talking about as far as how you clean yourself, how you dress yourself, what you do in the morning, where you like to go, how you like to get there. Even when you're doing van life, I think those things naturally just kind of fall into place my goal is to see all the national parks. That's what I'm doing. That's kind of my focus. And I've learned a little bit about what that journey could potentially look like. I have a little bit more insight about that that I didn't have before I started doing this. I've seen eight national parks so far on this trip since I've left my parents' house. I already saw two um, when I was staying at my parents' house, using it as kind of a home base, if you will. I saw Acadia and Shenandoah. And wow, if I can name off the top of my head the, the eight that I've seen. I've seen Big Bend National Park. I've seen Saguaro National Park. We've been to Carlsbad Caverns National Park. We've been to White Sands National Park. Oh my goodness. I have my map right here so I can kind of cheat. Joshua Tree National Park. I thought I had eight. Joshua Tree, Guadalupe Mountains National Park, Petrified Forest National Park. So maybe only seven? Um, Acadia, eh, Zion, how could I forget Zion? Eight, that's, it's crazy, like, it's only been a month and I've been to eight national parks. There are 60 something national parks. And I'm learning that not all national parks are created equal. I think they all have something to teach us and we, we can learn a great deal from each and every one of them. But I certainly have my favorites. And you certainly have your A-listers, your B-listers and your C-listers and then the ones that like you wonder why it's even... Even on those C-list parks I try to find something to appreciate but the reality is you know I'm only going to spend a day there if that. Some national parks are so small or you know there's just not much to do or given the weather it's just not that interesting to be there or it just doesn't make too much sense. It's just kind of like a day thing or a couple hours even. Um, and then you have your A-listers where you want to spend potentially the rest of your life there, right? So it's, it's, been, it's been good, but I'm like kind of just marching through them and I kind of want to slow down. I, I want to get better at seeing things in between national parks. I kind of want to get better at just being spontaneous and not planning everything out so much. Just kind of exploring, just kind of wandering, being okay with being lost, being okay with being in the moment and great things happen. Like I didn't plan Pismo Beach. Like I didn't know that you could drive your car out onto the beach. I mean, that is just, if anyone's doing van life, like how, how much more perfect than this could it get, right? It just so happened that I was exploring the area and I wanted to explore a couple of different beaches. I, I went to Pismo, I went to Avila, I went to uh, Moro Rock or Moro Strand State, Strand State Beach or something like that. And um, I liked Pismo, it's it kind of touristy, but the, bit, the beach is very big, the sand is very nice. It makes the most sense if you want to have a beach day to kind of spend it on Pismo, in my opinion. And I was just walking, maybe I took a two mile walk down the beach and I saw these cars and I was like, oh my God, it just happened like that. And um, I think I want to do that more in the future, especially now, this is kind of an off season for me, if you will, 
seeing the parks because it's it's winter now and I've already seen a good amount of the parks that are the best in November December January that are best in the winter Mo most most of the desert parks are gonna be perfect in the winter time or in the late fall and I've been doing that and now all the really a listers and the other stuff that I want to see it, it's gonna have to wait till spring it's gonna have to wait till next year um, I can still do Death Valley and maybe a handful of other ones, just a handful that makes sense within this region. But I think I'm just going to summertime in Southern California or somewhere nice and just kind of take it easy and just kind of learn what SUV van life has to offer and um, just do a little bit of reflection and just honestly, I'm probably going to come back here tomorrow, if not Sunday as well, just because it's so nice. How could you not want to be here? Every, literally, literally everything you do in your camper on the beach is better like i don't care what you're doing you could be scrubbing toilets and if you're doing it in your camper on the beach uh, like you know what i mean so it's 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 really a good deal um but yeah eight national parks collecting stickers getting a lot of good footage trying to focus more on photography as well just with my iphone everything is shot on the iphone all the videos are shot on the iphone i'll probably even edit this one on the iphone just kind of because i expect this to be a pretty simple video but man i'm i'm enjoying it i'm enjoying it and so far i'm happy to report that i have no major incidents um nothing bad to report everything's been really really good i i have gone down some really crappy roads the element sucks on bumpy like gravel dirt roads it just feels really really bad and there are certain roads dirt roads that i didn't mean to be on when i was in mojave national preserve and they have these like undulations in them and they're just like really frequent little bumps it's like going over mini speed bumps that happen like every like two inches and oh my god it's the worst i literally had to go over them at like less than 10 miles per hour because anything over that it really feels like my hardware the stuff that i've built the honda is just gonna like break into pieces and just spontaneously like fall apart on the on the tra on the trail on the gravel road it was it was it was pretty bad that was pretty awkward but I mean, that was literally like the worst thing. It's been kind of cold in, in some places, but nothing that I couldn't deal with. It's, it's been really, really good. Showering at Planet Fitnesses, exploring different Planet Fitnesses is really fun. They're all slightly different. Some of them are really nice. Some of them are not so nice, but the bathrooms are really nice. And it's just like little things that, that you come across in the Planet Fitness, like just little things that you're grateful for. Like sometimes the shower curtains are really stupid. Like they don't clothes all the way there's no shower head sometimes there's no like paper towels at all everything's like an air dryer sometimes it's all automated sinks so you can't leave the water on you just have to kind of like put your hands in the right place it's just um a lot of little stuff you know like breaking down the bed every morning it's stuff that so far it's not annoying it's just like part of it i'm almost like happy to do it i'm happy to accept this challenge um, and I embrace what it means and every day where, where I discover what it means I'm not comparing it to my old life you know I'm like oh my god I, I miss the days when I could just wake up and and put like make my bed and that's all I had to do right now I have to like fold the mattress and put the pillows away and pull the like window coverings out and like turn the heat on and like move away and like put everything in its place and get dressed like laying down, like all this I don't compare it to how it used to be right I think that's a recipe for disaster now every I'm just like grateful for everything even the little things that I have to do every day I'm just kind of like grateful for it you know because everything makes so much sense now it's just like me living this journey and this like this is it you know, like my job is to enjoy it my job is to grow my job is to heal and like as long as I can do that those things like I have nothing to complain about. Like I'm just living completely on my own and I, I get to wake up and every day is mine. And I'm, I'm just like really just kind of figuring out what the journey is all about and how to enjoy the journey. So guys, I think that's a good ending point. Just a quick update for you. I hope you enjoyed some footage, some photographs. I'm excited to keep on learning. I'm excited to keep on sharing this journey with you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment box below. And you know that, as always, I wish you health, I wish you peace, and I wish you unlimited joy on your journey, wherever it may take you. Thanks so much, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.